robots, reading our behavior on Twitter, trying to make our tweets safer. There's a lot to talk about tonight in Tech Talk. So tech expert Anthony Mondeluso is here. And I got to tell you, I saw on Facebook two weeks ago this tip about making you know your Facebook, your Twitter safer, HTTPS, and I did it right away. That was a good call. And look at this, Twitter is now following Facebook. What HTTPS does, it makes the data that you're sending when you're typing on the computer, it encrypts it, which means other people can't see it. So say you're at a coffee shop and you're sending private messages. If you're not using HTTPS, someone like me could pull the traffic and see what you're saying, not real so secure. So you'd be a hacker at that point. Hacker, voyeur, something, but not good. Okay, I did this though, but are, is it really safe for me? Isn't there some way for other people to see it? Don't we still have to be careful where we are? You need to be careful, and you need to remember too, anything that you put on the internet is gonna be there forever and to ever. It's not going away, so you still wanna be careful. Uh, HTTPS though is very, very secure. Banks have been using it for a very long time. Easy to switch? I mean, I found it easy when I had to go in and do it. Extremely, you go into your settings and you put always for secure and it will say HTTPS. Okay, let's talk about robots for robots. a minute, okay? Because we all saw what IBM's Watson did to the human race. Well, now they've had these experiments with robots apparently that are contesting our behaviors. What, what is that all about? They're actually using robots now to see if you're paying attention to, to really look at human logic. This one test that they're doing, the robot actually waves at you and it sees if it really gets your attention. I thought the whole point though of robots was to do stuff for us. Well, they're working on it, slowly, slowly. First they beat people on Jeopardy, now they're trying to get our attention. And just with a little camera, just using the camera, the robot was right 80% of the times if it was able to engage you. What does that say about us, Anthony? It says we're gonna be extinct soon. Are they gonna take over like like ATMs? They're just gonna be no no jobs, no humans left anymore. It's gonna be all robots. It might be. They're getting smarter and smarter. I mean, think about how amazing it was when Watson just literally was able to interpret speech that quickly and win. It it understood human dialect. See, now I'm a little bit concerned because I got excited when we see robotics used in the medical field. You know, that's terrific, especially when doctors can use them. Okay, the Watson thing didn't bother me so much, but then with this whole thing with testing human behaviors, I thought it was great. Okay, maybe I have a robot around and they can clean the house for me or something like that, but this has gone a little too far. Yeah, seriously, let, let's, let's let it do something useful, like drive me here, you know, that right. I can relax and do more emails. What do you think's coming up next with them? It's unbelievable. Now they're doing, the robots are actually acting in some plays. I'll be, I'll be sure to see one on Broadway probably soon. The, the, the play um, for robots? They actually have a robot. Are you being that, serious? I'm being totally serious. <laughs> a robot is acting on stage in other countries. And that just took care of all the acting population out there and the Charlie Sheens, right? Charlie Sheen might be done. I, I guess he's still winning somewhere, though. All right, Anthony, thanks so much for coming in. Steve, did you thanks. hear that? I Robots did. are going to be sitting where you and John are pretty soon. Well, they would probably do a better news job than me. <laughs> I don't know about better Come than Come on, Billy. Well, look.